Hey, what is up guys, Vanoss here, and uh, welcome to another q and I know it's been a really long time since my last one. It's almost been a year, actually, since my last Q&A. The last one that I did was when I hit 200K subscribers, and obviously most people weren't around back then, so for those of you guys who are still here today, thank you for sticking around for this long, and it's just awesome that some people are still watching my videos. But uh, yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do another Q&A, so I thought I'd do one today. But before I get into it, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for six million subscribers. A lot you guys been congratulating me and uh, like I say every single time I'm gonna say it again I don't like talking about numbers however when you guys are sending me all these kind messages and comments I have to acknowledge it and I really do appreciate all the support so uh, thank you guys so much but uh, anyways let's get into the questions here because there are quite a few and I want to get as many done as possible so the first one is a really good question and uh, it comes from DNJ gameplay and he asks, how did you meet all the guys you game with in your videos now uh, some of my friends already talked about this in their videos but I'm gonna to tell you guys from my point of view so the very first guy I ever met on YouTube is Brock and you guys know him as Moose Knuckle and uh, the way I found him was when I was first starting out on YouTube I didn't want to try to go after channels and play with people who had a lot of subscribers what I want to do is try to network with people out there who were just starting their channels up just like me so uh, what I literally did is I searched on YouTube for titles like first gameplay commentary so I could find channels who are just starting out and I found a couple people and I messaged a few of them some some of them responded back, some of them didn't, but one of the people who did respond back was Brock and uh, we were just exchanging messages, you know, giving each other advice and we thought each other's videos were pretty good and uh, we just started playing together and we became good friends and mostly back in the day we were playing COD. So uh, yeah, that was the very first guy that I ever met on YouTube. Now uh, the next guy that I met goes by the name of I Am Wildcat, you might have heard of him, but uh, the way I found him was the exact same way. I ended up finding his first gameplay commentaries and uh, I thought his videos were pretty awesome so I messaged him as well and uh, he started playing with us a little later on and uh, the other guy that I met at the very beginning of my quote-unquote YouTube career is a guy that goes by the name of Big Jiggly Panda. Now, a lot of you guys probably haven't heard of him before because he hasn't been playing GTA with us, but uh, he played a lot of COD with us back in the day, so uh, the people who've been around on my channel for a long time probably know who he is. But uh, yeah, we still talk to him and we're still good friends with him, but we just don't play with him as often nowadays. Now, uh, the next two people that I met were Racing Cats and Scrollologist, and these two guys were subscribers of mine at the time, and my channel was really small, uh, but I ended up playing with these two guys at one point randomly, and uh, they just became friends with ours, and we started playing together, and those were the main five guys that I played with for a really long time, uh, Racing Cats, Scrollologist, Panda, Wildcat, and Brock. And I didn't really meet too many people after that for a long time. But uh, the next guy that I did meet was the Gaming Terrorizer, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know who that is. Uh, but the way I met him was one day I thought it was a really good idea to maybe do auto-tuning in Call of Duty and just mess with people in random lobbies. So I ended up searching on YouTube to see who was doing it already, and I found his channel, and I thought he did a great job, and I thought his content was really awesome. So I messaged him, and I actually ended up posting a montage of his videos on my channel to give him a shout-out because I thought he deserved it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how we met uh, but we didn't really play together too much at the start just because he was in a different time zone as me plus he was really busy with school and work so uh, unfortunately we weren't playing too often at the time but uh, the next person that I met later that summer was a guy that goes by the name of H2O Delirious and uh, I got a message from this guy on YouTube one day and he thought my videos were pretty cool and he was wondering if I wanted to play sometime so uh, I checked out some of his videos and I told him they were complete shit and to never message me again and uh, no, I'm kidding. I, I saw his videos, I thought they were awesome. And uh, I messaged him back and we ended up playing together. And uh, at the time he was playing with guys like basically I do work, 407 and Mexicutioner. So uh, obviously I met them through Delirious and along the way I met other guys like Mini Lad, Louie and Nogla because they kind of knew each other as well. So uh, I met them through those guys and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how I met all the people that I know on YouTube today. And obviously you see them in my videos all the time. And uh, I know it wasn't a spectacular story story or anything, nothing special, but that's how I met my friends, and uh, I'm sure I'm missing some details in there, but I just honestly can't remember everything. But uh, that's basically how I met them, and I know it was a long answer, but it was a pretty complicated question. But uh, now that we're finally done with it, we can move on to the next question here, and uh, this one comes from Hyde, or Hid, not really sure how to pronounce that, but uh, he asked, what is your first game you ever played? Now uh, this is kind of a funny answer because I'm not really your traditional person who played Nintendo and played Mario, and I wish I could honestly, but uh, as a child I wasn't really introduced to video games because my parents were trying to put me into things like sports, and uh, that's why I started playing hockey, and that's going be related to a question coming up but uh, yeah I wasn't really introduced to video games but I did play a few games here and there
there on a crappy PC that I had. And uh, the first few games that I ended up playing were games like Freddy the Fish and Pajama Sam. And uh, I'm sure like 90% of the people listening to this have no clue what those games are. But uh, shout out to those people who do because they were a lot of fun when I was younger. And uh, they were just kind of like mini adventure games that had a bunch of puzzles in them. So uh, yeah, those were the first games I played. But uh, a little later on, the first violent game that I ever played was Duke Nukem 3D. And I had a really bad habit of always using cheat codes for that game. So I would always run around with God Mode and all the guns and just mess around and have a good time. But uh, yeah, those are the first three games I played. And uh, again, not really the traditional route, but uh, like I said, my parents were trying to put me into things like sports rather than, you know, having me play video games as a child. But uh, anyways, moving on to the next question here. This one comes from Cohen and he asks, are you going to do a face reveal someday? Sorry if I'm rude. Uh, first of all, man, don't worry. It's not rude at all. A lot of people were asking about that. I actually already did a face reveal when I hit 1 million subscribers. So obviously I'm not going to do another one again, but uh, yeah, you could easily find that on my channel if you search for it. But uh, anyways, moving on to the next question. This one comes from Dylan and he asks, if you could be any superhero, which one would you be? Well, uh, it kind of depends if you consider superheroes to only be the ones that have supernatural powers, but if that rule doesn't apply, I would probably pick Iron Man or Tony Stark, whatever you want to call him, because the dude's a badass, he's a billionaire, he has robots that he could fucking fly in, so uh, not really a bad pick in my eyes, pretty good, pretty good stuff, but uh, I know there's other superheroes out there that could fly like Superman and he could do this cool shit with his eyes and he could burn people, but uh, I think Superman's a little OP and uh, he's an alien, so uh, yeah, fuck Superman, fuck that guy. He shouldn't be included in any superhero competition. But uh, anyways, that's kind of a silly subject, so uh, let's move on to another question here. This one comes from Connor, and he asked, what would you do if you weren't a YouTuber? What did you do before YouTube? So uh, just like anyone else, I was in school, and I actually took part-time university this past semester. And honestly, I never knew what I wanted to do in school. It's a really difficult thing to do, you know, trying to decide on a profession or a direction for your career. And I always just thought I would go the business route because I felt like I was most interested in that, but still had no clue what I really wanted to do. But uh, besides school, I played hockey my whole life. Like I talked about earlier, my parents put me into sports early on and I started playing hockey at six years old and uh, I pretty much played it my entire life and I took it really seriously, you know, played competitive every single year and uh, it really did take up most of my time. I mean, I didn't have the chance to do a lot of the normal stuff like just hang out and whatnot. You know, like I was always thinking about going to practice, going to games, training, making sure I'm eating well, going to bed on time and uh, there's just so much shit that I had to concentrate on and if you're in a competitive sport you know what I'm talking about so it was pretty difficult growing up because like I said didn't really have much time to do anything else and it did suck at times but in the long run I don't regret it because I did learn a lot I mean besides just staying in shape and you know learning how to eat well and stay healthy uh, there's a lot of other stuff that you learn you know you learn so much about yourself especially being in a team sport uh, you learn how to carry yourself you know you gain confidence you learn how to talk to people and uh, I truly believe it's a really good thing to do, you know, if you're still young and you have the option to start getting into sports. I really do think you guys should do it. I know you guys are here, you love video games, and that's awesome too. But uh, I really do think it's a good idea to get into sports, especially when you're young. So uh, that's my two cents on that subject. And uh, yeah, that's what I did most of my life. Didn't really get too much into video games till mid high school. And uh, here I am making YouTube videos of GTA 5 and all that good stuff. I'm actually thinking of maybe doing in the future like a vlog of, you know, taking you guys to see me play hockey a little bit you know just going on the ice and uh, messing around because I think it's kind of a cool thing to share with you guys something that's been important to me my whole life plus I don't think there's too many people in the gaming community on YouTube that play ice hockey so it would be kind of like a unique thing and uh, hopefully you guys would enjoy it but uh, anyways moving on to the next question here this question comes from Joe, Joe, Joe. All right, moving on to the next question. This one comes from Rylan, and he asks, why won't you upload daily? So uh, this is a question that I get asked a lot, and it's simply because I don't have enough time. I mean, I really try to put in work into my videos, especially the editing, and uh, even getting the footage could be quite time consuming sometimes, because even though I'm having fun playing a game, it doesn't necessarily mean that footage is good for a video, because I try to pick out the best moments, and uh, sometimes that ends up only being like 20 minutes out of like five hours of gameplay. But uh, that's just the way I chose to make my videos. I just think they turn out the 
the best that way and uh, honestly I would want to post every day if I could but I just can't at this point maybe in the future when I get more productive and more effective for those people who do post every day on YouTube props to you guys much respects because that is one hell of a difficult task and uh, for you viewers that are subscribed to channels that post every day and uh, once in a while those channels take a break and don't post do me a favor on those break days don't ever give them shit you know don't get mad at them because you know making videos for YouTube is a lot more time consuming than people think but uh, anyways moving on to the next question this one comes from Adam and he asked would you play Minecraft now uh, there's a whole lot of people who want me to play Minecraft and then there's a whole bunch that don't because there's a lot of people out there who just hate Minecraft and uh, I actually do enjoy Minecraft and I would want to post it but uh, the only reason that's stopping me is because I know it's really time consuming to start a new game and there's already a huge community when it comes to Minecraft so you know I don't even know what's been done what hasn't been done you know on YouTube and it's quite a difficult thing to just all of a sudden step into especially when you're not that experienced with Minecraft although I did post three Minecraft videos in the past and they did quite well so uh, maybe I might pick it up sometime in the near future and uh, hopefully you guys would enjoy watching it and for those people who hate Minecraft you know maybe you won't tune in for those videos but uh, yeah I'm not sure but it's definitely a possibility all right last question here comes from Jared and he asked what is your favorite video you ever posted on YouTube now uh, this is a difficult question for me to answer because there are so many videos out there but there are a few that do stand out and one of them for sure which is kind of like one of my most underrated videos I would say was my greatest YouTube of all time video and uh, that was one of the videos that literally took me like four straight days in a row that's all I was working on and it was only a two and a half minute video and uh, I thought it turned out really well but I ended up releasing it on the same day that GTA came out and that was a big mistake because obviously people were looking to watch GTA videos and not Call of Duty videos and uh, I thought it was one of the most creative videos I ever made I thought it was so cool to be able to follow this noob tube this grenade launcher go throughout different maps and Black Ops 2 and go back in time and see references from my old videos and uh, I just really enjoyed watching it when I was done with it so I'm really proud of that video I'm gonna leave it in the description in case you guys want to check it out but besides that I would say the other video that I think is really creative on my channel was one of my remix videos that I made from just the game chat of my friends and I'll also leave that one in the description feel free to let me know what your favorite video was in the comments because I would be interested to hear because I know a lot of you guys are here from GTA and for me it's so difficult to pick one GTA video over the other because there's been so many great moments in this game that uh, it's really difficult for me to choose but uh, I'm gonna end this commentary Q&A here because it's been almost what 12 and a half minutes or so hopefully most of you guys are still here probably not but if you are thank you for listening I appreciate everything you guys been doing for me lately it's been a lot of fun on YouTube it's been a blast so let's keep her going. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.